Welcome to the Own Your Family. Clear water. Okay. One of the biggest benefits of having an online business and flexible work is that you can travel and spend more quality time with your family and kids. In this episode, we're going to share with you a glimpse of our vacation at the remarkable Dubrovnik, Croatia, also known as the Pearl of the Adriatic. Welcome to Dubrovnik with all your family. Old center. Alright, let's get it. Oh, beautiful. This looks so familiar. Like right? this fountain of. Come on, let's get inside. Let's get into the Disneyland castle. No, it's not a Disneyland. It's the old town of Dubrovnik. Come on. We loved visiting Dubrovnik with kids on our family trip to Croatia. From mountaintop hiking adventures to beautiful beaches to the historic city walls, there are so many amazing things to do in Dubrovnik with kids. We knew that Dubrovnik was a must-see destination while visiting Croatia with kids. But we worried a little bit about visiting a place with as much hype as Dubrovnik. We had visions of multiple cruise ships being there at the same time and walking along the Dubrovnik city walls shoulder to shoulder with hordes of tourists. We worried that we wouldn't have a fun experience in Dubrovnik with kids. Thankfully, this wasn't our experience and we had no need to worry. We had an outstanding time in Dubrovnik with kids. Dubrovnik lived up to its advanced billing and we were blessed enough to be there without many cruise ships. To top it off, not only was the city beautiful, the scenery amazing, but there were plenty of fun things to do in Dubrovnik with kids. Hello, welcome and be grateful for today. Hello, this is Renat and Katrina from Own Your Family. We're finishing up our breakfast uh, with uh, family uh, in the breakfast table uh, on our yeah, holiday. We're thinking that it's uh, good to talk about being grateful uh, of the day. Uh, being grateful every single day. Uh, uh, regardless of the situation. Whether you are on a holiday or you're at work or you are working at home or you're working in the garden, there's always something uh, to look forward to, to be grateful for. Uh, and uh, w w first of the things we are grateful for today is here having uh, to spend a wonderful uh, morning and a wonderful holiday uh, together with the two children. And uh, yeah, that's uh, the first thing. Yeah. And the best, I guess, in terms of you. Yeah, the diver. The diver. All you want to see, Mateo, is here. Hi, Mateo. How are you doing? You're so cute. Okay, let's show them the Dubrovnik uh, 
area of where we are in Old Town. Okay. And there's Yozwa here. Yozwa with Papa. Dubrovnik Old Town is known as one of the world's finest and most perfectly preserved medieval cities in the world. Dubrovnik Center, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, has so much to offer in terms of historical sightseeing. Parts of its allure lies in the fact that it is still a lived-in city, vibrant and bustling with locals whose homes line the narrow streets and sunlight squares. As well as visiting the churches, palaces, and museums, the visitor can also enjoy markets, bazaars, cafes, bars, and restaurants. The Old Town is a traffic-free zone, so you have to walk around. No driving, cycling, or similar. Besides that, a large part of the Old Town street is steep steps. So even if it's not a traffic-free zone there, it will be very difficult to drive inside the city walls. This one is much more simple. This is really like from the Napoleonic part, like you see, the, with cannons and mm -hmm. like a real stronghold. Huh? This is a stronghold. Huh? This is very strong. You can see it. It's, it's pretty. Even in Totora, you just yes. saw that they were not part of a big. Um, yeah, I mean, they were missing some. You might want to get away from the regular tourist destinations and venture somewhere a little quieter. Errant Island's the perfect answer to that. If you're visiting Croatia, you can easily see the gorgeous Alafiti Islands during your stay, also known as Alafatiti Islands or the Elephites. This can be for just a day or maybe you will want to spend the night or a few days exploring the island you choose. The Alafiti Islands are located just northwest of Dubrovnik and the main three islands you can visit are Kolachep, Sipan and Lopud. These islands are the perfect escape from the crowds in Dubrovnik, especially during peak seasons. You can either choose your island or book an island tour that will allow you to see a snapshot of all three during a one-day tour. The choice is yours. Loput and Kolachep are islands with zero traffic and are free of cars. So they are ideal options if you want to get away from it all. Of course, if you want to avoid using public transport, you can always book a private tour. And these are available via reputable tour agents and you will find many tours offered in the center of Dubrovnik. Hey guys, Kochula, Kochula Island. Welcome to Kochula Island. There it is. Let's see. Dubrovnik is a mesmerizing city on Croatia's stunning Dalmatian coast, so it's no wonder that it's at the top of many people's holiday bucket list. It might be famed for its breathtaking scenery and, of course, its Game of Thrones filming locations, but it's also a fantastic place to have a relaxed vacation with family and kids while building an online business. Up next, watch our episodes about the best family resort in Dubrovnik and 7 lessons learned from the HBO series Game of Thrones. Thanks for watching!
Thanks for listening. Join our online family by signing up for your free account at www.ownyourfamily.com and begin your journey to freedom. Want to get there faster? Book a strategy call with us at ownyourfamily.com forward slash book a call. As always, be sure to leave a rating and subscribe to our podcast and channel so you never miss a future episode.